Smart Christian versus Straightway Ministry. Let's talk about it. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Closer to God Ministries, where we push forward in the kingdom of the Most High Yah. Closer to God Ministries is for those who really want to learn true submission, true obedience, reverence, and a fear of the Most High Yah. One thing about Closer to God Ministries is I'm not afraid to push the envelope. There's a lot of things that go on in the world that need to be addressed, but religious leaders won't talk about it. Closer to God Ministries, I'm pushing forward. Each man must be convinced in his own mind. I'm going to give you the disclaimer. This is not for everybody. If you're somebody that has a soft spirit, a sensitive spirit, you don't like that hard truth that can set you free, this is not for you. But if you choose to stay tuned, don't just run off on the plug with my content. Hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, turn your notifications on so you can see when I'm posting new content. And then if you really want to support the channel, check out the doggone link in the description for some exclusive discount codes. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Glory to the most high, Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning into another righteous spirit filled episode man today i'm talking about something that if you guys are tuned in you know chances are you might have seen this and i'm here to tell you that you have to be convinced as a man in your own mind and first and foremost you need to have faith in the things unseen everything else you have to be convinced in your own mind based upon what you can see, based upon the evidence or the fruit that people give you. Now, when we look at this smart Christian versus straightway ministries, I will tell you that both of them can be used by the most high Yah. I'm not, I'm not the judge of that. I will also tell you that you're most effective where the most high Yah called you to be. If you're trying to be somewhere that he hasn't called you to be, expect for it not to go the way that you want. Everybody is not going to be chosen. So today I'm going to give you some clear cut wisdom on how you can see that these are two different men cut from two different cloths. They're oil and water and they will never mix. One of them has followers that believe in his teaching. The other one has followers that believe in his teaching. So let's break this down. So I've had some success at being a leader in the military, you know, for over 15 years, you know, being a recruiter, being a drill sergeant and I've seen some and I've seen some men and women that make up less than 1% of the American population. And when you think about that, I've seen people who talk a good game while we're on the ground, but when it's time to go down that rappel tower, they just weren't built like that. That's when that's when they weren't willing to overcome those fears. They weren't willing to sacrifice. They weren't willing to doggone do it and they would end up getting phased out. You know, as a recruiter, I used to have people come into the office sometimes and talk crap and they would say, man, anybody can do what you guys are doing. You know, you guys ain't doing nothing hard. And I would often say, hey, man, ain't nothing, ain't nothing in between us but a couple signatures and some paperwork. <laughs> ain't nothing in between us but a couple signatures and some paperwork. And I said that because I didn't have time to waste. I was trying to find people who had a spirit of obedience. Even with some of the opportunities that I volunteered for and raised my hand for increased responsibility, drill sergeant, recruiter, I definitely know how to look at somebody and tell whether or not they have what it takes. You know, summertime, I could look at some men, a group of young men, some of them was fit, athletic, buff as can be, but just didn't have what it takes. And then there's a scrawny guy who people would look past and not not count on him to make it far, would graduate, go to airborne school, go to ranger school, go to special forces, go to whole nine. Gotta have an eye for it. But if you haven't spent time, you know, around that kind of leadership and being able to weed out, you know, who is gonna make it and who is not, chances are you don't have no idea. So I'm gonna give you these to be able to slice the cake. As men, we must choose the direction we wanna go in life. We also have a choice of who we entertain in order to gain wisdom on how we go about getting there. We all should be following the will of the Most High Yah and the Messiah said so himself. So here's some examples of what you need not do because you're setting yourself up for failure. Don't go to T.D. Jakes Ministries expecting to find Geno Jennings. Why? One loves feel good messages and the other loves teaching everything in the Bible, even the things that people don't like to talk about. Don't go to a real estate office expecting to find an independent contract. Why? The real estate agent will speak as if they know how a house is built while the independent contractor has spent time building a house. Don't watch Rocky looking for the same masculine grit as in Rambo. Why? Rocky was a character that boxed in a closed setting 
and environments when Rambo was a character who was a war hero. Don't go to a prison looking for a veteran. Why? One went against the law and paid the price and the other served trying to protect it. Don't go to a stockbroker expecting to find a man that knows how to homestead. Why? One loves being in the city and the other loves being on the land. Don't go to Israel trying to find somebody that speaks Greek. Why? You will find that the majority speaks Hebrew. Don't go to Smart Christian's channel expecting to find the fruit of straightway. Why? One loves the Greek and the other the Hebrew. Don't expect to find the wisdom of the wilderness in the city. Why? If you had came out of her completely, you wouldn't be looking in the city for wisdom. Don't expect to find a laboring man sitting amongst lazy men. Why? The laboring man is always on the move. As a child, you are extremely blessed if you have two sets of grandparents, two type of granddads, and chances are you might have spent your time with both of them. You go spend one summer with one grandpa, you know, he wants to sit around, watch Andy Griffin, you know, complete grandma's honey to-do list that she gave him, eat cookies, eat sandwiches, stuff like that, take you to go get some ice cream. On the other summer, you go with grandpa who likes to do none of that. He likes to teach you how to hunt, teach you how to fish, teach you how to build things, lets you ride the tractor. Two different kind of grandpas. Got two different kind of Lowe's employees. You got the employee that works at the register and the register only, and then you got the employee that works in the aisle, works around lumber, works around nails, hardware. You wouldn't go to the cashier asking what kind of specific screws or nails you need to build a deck. It's not the kind of knowledge they have. You got two different kind of husbands. You got men that think they're leading their family, but don't even know they are a part of a matriarch. And then you have the men that know that they're in charge, won't move from it, and they're in charge of leading their family and everybody falls into an order. As a man, you must be convinced in your own mind. You need to know the difference between a passion and a conviction. Many religious leaders and teachers have passion, but no conviction. A conviction is a belief so strong that it governs your decisions in such a way that you are willing to die for it. Passion without experience is just that, passion. Some men get on the path early on in life and adhere to the book while others choose it later on while having no time to learn anything of obedience. Some men get on the path and only see it as a means to be comfortable. 85% of Americans own a Bible, but only 10 to 11% of them read it daily. If you ask the majority of what the book says, they can't tell you because they haven't spent time learning how to live it. They have worldly wisdom and no righteous wisdom. You also need to know that Hebrew and Greek are not in the same family. Jesus spoke a Galilean dialect of Aramaic. Aramaic and Hebrew are in the same family while Greek is not. Some men will teach you from the Greek while other Hebrew. Some men have the Holy Spirit, which is a spirit of obedience and others have a religious spirit that rejects. One man loves the Greek and the other the Hebrew. They both have the same book, but will be cut from two different cloths. You can't go to straightway expecting to learn things that straightway is not about. Can't go to smart Christian and expect to learn what straightway is about. They're oil and water, they don't mix. Matthew chapter seven, verse 15 through 20. Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep clothing, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. You will know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles, even so, every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a bad tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into fire. Therefore, by their fruits, you will know them. I would take it a step further. There's fruit of the book and there's fruit of the world. When it comes to smart Christian versus straightway, you gotta be able to discern what kind of fruit is what chances are you don't know. And most importantly, cause I gotta give you the message. Gotta give you the message. Romans chapter 10, verse nine through 10. These are for those people who are in the mix of what's going on between straightway and smart Christian channel, but you don't even have a relationship with the most high y'all. That's what's important. No need of worrying about all the intricacies if you don't even have the base. And I'm here to tell you that some people can only lead you to the basics. And when it comes to the fulfillment of righteousness, everybody can't do that. You might have 1% of men that might be able to do that. You might be able to throw a rock and hit somebody that can give you a feel good message, but staying on the path and learning how to walk righteously, man, that's just living a good life pleasing to the most high y'all. Romans chapter 10, verse nine through 10. 
Because if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. From with the heart one believes and is justified and with the mouth one confesses and is saved. Acts 2 and 38. And Peter said to them, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sin and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. That's what you need to know. First John chapter five, verse three. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not burdensome. I want you to realize, man, you have two different kind of men that are cut from two different kind of cloths. One man rejects a lot of what the scripture says, ultimately because it's burdensome. Don't want to get out of that comfort zone. The other man that's cut from a different cloth is going towards keeping the commandments and knows that they're not burdensome, knows that they produce righteousness. You need to be able to discern who was in right standing with the Most High Yah and who wasn't. King Ahab was the kind of man that tolerated Jezebel and was not in right standing, while Abraham had many wives and was in right standing. If you can't understand that truth, you might be rejecting more of the scriptures than you realize. You may be trying to say that, you know what? Ahab was a good guy. He was successful, he was the king of Israel, and you might not be paying any regards to how none of his actions were pleasing to the Most High Yah. Every man ain't gonna be cut from the same cloth. Your discernment is gonna lead you the direction that you need to go. I said discernment, not worldly wisdom. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Check out the link in the description. Closer to God Ministries, kicking the gun barrel straight.